This is the Tuscan Reader Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew. In this episode, is Darth Tenebris in the High Republic? <laughs> so, I had this conversation with Chris from Star Raptor, who has a podcast, Outer Rim Transmissions. Check him out. He's awesome. He is an expert in Star Wars canon. He covers movies, games, videos, books, comics, everything. He covers all of the Star Wars canon stuff and more. You need to check him out if you haven't already. Great guy. Me and him had this conversation today. He, Out of the blue, he sends me this message. Hey, don't you think it's time that the High Republic in maybe, say, Phase 2, we have the introduction of the Sith? And I thought that was a very good idea. But also my thoughts were like, well, what did uh, Mace Windu say? Didn't he say something about it being a couple hundred years or so? And Chris was like, yeah, millennia. Still, with that, you can still have the Sith doesn't mean the Jedi have to be aware of the Sith happenings in the galaxy, but man, that got my brain going because I'm currently reading Darth Plagueis. Okay, I'm taking my time. Of course, you heard me say that, what, two or three months ago? Yeah, I'm taking my sweet time. I like Darth Plagueis. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I've been taking some hefty notes. None of them are in front of me, which is a shame, but I'm enjoying what I'm reading, and uh, that got my mind rolling when he said, let's introduce the Sith, because in phase one, I agree with Chris. He told me, phase one, we got some excellent villains. We have the Nile. They've been doing really good. You got Lorna D, who's been doing stuff within the Nile. Martian Roe, the Eye of the Nile. And then there is the Dringir, which I'm not a fan of the Dringir. At least I haven't been in the books. I thought they came across very silly. But I'm in the comic books, they were taken more seriously. And I am currently going through this Star Wars The High Republic, The Edge of Balance and the Dringir are in this book, and they are a little bit more terrifying uh, than they are in the, the novels. So, I agree mostly with what Chris said with great villains. Yes. But, in Phase 2, let's move to the Sith. What if Darth Plagueis' master, which is Darth Tenebris, what if him and his master are the ones controlling the Nile, pulling all these strings because the Sith... They're, they want revenge. They want to be in control of the galaxy. How are they going to do it? Well, according to Darth Plagueis, the Sith have been, you know, acting like a bunch of crazy people. We need to rule the galaxy with force and violence. We need to slaughter everybody. The Nile have been doing this. They've been killing billions of people in the galaxy, blowing up ships that'll destroy cities and other ships, and they're going to battle with the Jedi. It's crazy. There is chaos in the galaxy. And who is the master of chaos? The Sith. So if we had the the Sith ruling the Nile, trying to conquer the galaxy by toppling the Republic. The High Republic is like, you know, it's supposed to be the, the Republic in its prime. But, of course, you can't have a book with the Republic in its prime because then the story would be boring. There's no, no wars in the Star Wars. So if you have the Sith behind the scenes pulling strings... That would be so much fun, because the timeline works. According to Plagueis, he's 100 years old in his novel, around that. So, go back to his master, Tenebris, and his master, this Twi'lek, Dark Lord of the Sith, which is said to have opened up this rend in the Force that the Jedi felt. Now, just because the Jedi haven't seen the Sith, like, in over a millennia, doesn't mean that they weren't there. Obviously, they were. The rule of two kept them very minimal. So they're going to want to stay in the shadows and let the Nile do as much damage as they possibly can to the Republic and to the Jedi. And the Jedi right now, they're looking pretty bad in that second book. They're, they're being overwhelmed. And by second book, I'm referring to the rising storm of the High Republic. Tenebris and his master could be thinking soon, all right, it's going to be time for us to expose ourselves. I believe... I could be wrong, I could be wrong, so forgive me if I am, but in my head right now, I'm thinking that this is the same timeline that Tenebris' master opened up this rend in the Force. I believe it was this time, okay? If I'm wrong, then all of this is just thrown out of the water, and a waste of my time and yours, but it is still exciting to talk about. So in Wave 3, or Phase 3, maybe like right before the Sith are going to come out and expose themselves and take their seat as the rulers. Maybe Tenebris kills his master, and then something else happens to where, oh, it's not possible for me to go and rule the galaxy. So back to the drawing board on, you know, plan revenge of the Sith. So I thought it was fun to talk about this. I mean, I think the timeline works. It might not. Maybe I didn't really do any of this math. Maybe I just 
got excited because I'm reading Plagueis and thought, oh, we should follow the timeline backwards from that point of Darth Sidious, Darth Plagueis, Darth Tenebris, and then his master. They've got to follow that genealogy sometime. I think that would be a great way to explore it because right now we don't really have that much Sith stuff in canon and we, we need to do that. I am going to wrap things up now like I mentioned at the top. Going to keep it a nice, short, sweet episode. I thought it was fun to talk about. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Hopefully I can get some more of these quick ideas out there on tape for you to listen to and enjoy. Check me out on Twitter, Tuscan Reader Podcast. And don't forget there's a YouTube channel out there where you can watch these episodes and check out Star Raptor. I think you'll enjoy his stuff if you're really into the Star Wars canon. Guys, may the Force be with you today and tomorrow and always. <laughs>